What's up everybody, this is Eric Howe, and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can record your computer screen so you can share your music projects. This works great with websites like Chrome Music Lab, it works with the Ableton Live Learning Music Site, it even works for digital audio workstations like GarageBand, FL Studio, Ableton Live. You can record your computer screen so you can share your music. It's great because it's completely free, it doesn't require any software installation, and it doesn't even require you to create an account. All right, sound good? Let's go. All right, here's the screen recording website. It's called screenapp.io. Once again, it's completely free. You don't need an account. You don't need to install any software. It's really, really great. Click on get started. And it's just a few things you need to set before you get started here. All right, so uh, in this case, you can set whether or not you want your webcam uh, to be recorded. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off so you don't see two of me. And then you're just gonna choose what audio you wanna record. So for example, if you're recording something off of Chrome Music Lab or the Ableton Live Learning Music site, just choose the browser audio and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and click this off right over here. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, give you an example right now. We'll share the screen. I'm gonna choose which screen and we're gonna share system audio, okay? Click on the screen I wanna share. It's gonna be this side right over here, right? And uh, you have a limit of 15 minutes, which is completely fine. Uh, your music projects are gonna be a lot shorter than that. And I'll, I'll give you an example right now. I'm gonna hit start. Now it's recording. I'm gonna go over here to my project over on the Ableton Live Learning Music site. Let's play around with this. And let's see. Okay, put it in the comments if you recognize that song. Uh, anyway, let's move along. Let's go ahead and stop sharing. And it automatically downloads the file to your computer. So it's right over here. I can click on this and take a look. Let's fast forward a little bit. There you go, it's that easy. Okay, let me go ahead and go back to the website <clears throat> right over here. And that's it, and if you wanna record a new one, just hit new recording, all right? Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to record your screen and your audio from your digital audio workstation. And in this case, I'm using Ableton Live. I'm doing it on Windows, so I apologize to the Mac users. You might have to figure it out on your own, but it should be something similar in terms of the settings. Um, first, go to your sound settings and make sure that that's set up properly. I'm gonna to go to mine on Windows. You can type in sound settings here. Um, and then make sure that this output over here, this is the system audio that um, that screenapp.io is going to use to record. So make sure that that matches the output of your digital audio workstation. And now it's a similar process. Just click on new recording. And in this case, instead of uh, selecting browser audio, make sure it's system audio plus microphone audio. Okay. And once that's set, click share screen and then click share system audio. Don't forget to uh, select this right over here. Right. And then select the screen you want. It's actually on screen one for me. I have two screens here. It's this one right here. So if I go back to that, we'll see it right over here. And you can tell which screen is being recorded on because you can see this little message down here as well. All right, so if you have multiple screens, this is very helpful, All right? Click on start recording. It's recording now. And then I can go to my music project, play a little bit of this. Take a look and see if it worked. Stop sharing. And if we go back to the browser, there it is. All right, so let's take a listen. Recording. It's recording now, and then I can go to my music project, play a little bit of this. There we go. 
so it works. Another benefit is that these screen recording file sizes are not that big. So what I did was I went ahead and recorded this entire project, which is about a minute and 45 seconds. And that file ended up being 23.5 megs. That's not bad. That's small enough to email because on on Gmail, for example, the file size limit is 25 megs. So you could literally record your screen, pop that thing in an email and send it to whoever you want. So that's the screenapp.io screen recorder. But before I end this video, I wanna mention there is a limitation as far as sound quality, okay? It's gonna record in mono and it's gonna be a compressed signal just like any other screen recorder. But I think the fact that it's free, that you don't have to create an account to use it and you don't have to install any software makes it extremely useful, okay? So have fun with it and let me know how it goes. Once again, my name is Eric Howe from Mix Major, and if you're new here, make sure you like this video, share it and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And if you're interested in learning how to create your own music, check out my free Beats for Beginners class. It's made specially for kids and teens. It's also good for music educators that wanna get ideas for their own music technology curriculum. Check out the link in the description of this video. Once again, my name is Eric Howe from Mix Major. I will see you soon.